Yo, what's up? This is Gary at Red at All, and I'm here with another book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Family by Mario Puzo. Um, I actually picked this up at a bookstore because I'm a fan of Mario Puzo's previous work, particularly The Godfather. Uh, I didn't know what to expect when I picked this up. I, I, I thought that it was going to be another um, Mafia novel. And, you know, in general, I like organized crime and mafia stories and stuff. So I expected this to be pretty much the same thing. But it turns out that this is actually a book set in the, the, um, the Italian Renaissance era. And it focuses on um, the, the Borgia family. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But the Borgia family, um, they're a real family. They actually existed in, you know, in history and... Um, Rodrigo Borgia actually became Pope Alexander um, and you know so he was a pope and the book kind of focuses on him um, you know governing everything and, and setting his family up to be in a position of power you know he does a lot of politicking with um, marrying off his daughters and his sons to you know different families in power to you know try and get an advantage over all the lands you know in Spain and France as well as well as you know the different regions in Italy um, so it focuses a lot on that um, you know Pope Alexander is very family orientated and he wanted to see his family succeed and you know this book kind of shows some of the tactics that he used to get the upper hand um, one that stands out is you know uh, once uh, his daughter Lucreza you know, she was very young when he actually set her up to be married to somebody else. Um, I, I believe she was around like 14 or something like that. And obviously she was very anxious about being married off at such a young age. And um, she actually asked the Pope, her father, if there was a way she could be eased into the whole marriage and the, the sexual, you know, parts of the marriage and everything. Because uh, there's like a tradition where um, once the marries that the marriage is you know solidified once they get married, they actually um, go behind the scenes and they you know indulge in sexual activity, and um, people are actually you know standing by while this is happening. So she's nervous about this whole thing, being a teenager. And uh, what Pope Alexander actually does is he he gets one of her older brothers to help to help ease her into the sexual experience so he creates incest basically within his family just so he can get an advantage you know with this marriage and you know this uh the incest between Lucreza and her brother Cesar um this goes on throughout the book you know they always have a close relationship after that and um it you know explores that theme uh in you know a, a very deep way and there's a lot of scandals in this book which i found interesting you know not just that one with the incest but there's also one where um, two of the other brothers get into a conflict over a, over a woman because one of them is married to this woman and um, the other guy the other brother he actually sleeps with you know the, his younger brother's wife so there's a lot of scandals like that and you know a lot of politicking and stuff um, what I particularly find interesting is, you know, if you um, dig deep into this novel, you will see many parallels, you know, between um, this book and Mario Puzo's other work, even though this is very different, you know, being um, set in the Renaissance era, there are many parallels with his mafia stories. And um, Mario Puzo himself actually said he believes that the Borgias were the first real mafia family just because of the, the tactics that Pope Alexander, um, you know, found in himself indulging in. So I definitely found that interesting to draw those parallels between, you know, uh, the, all the, the mafia stories that Puzo has written before. And, you know, quite frankly, I enjoyed reading this book. I didn't expect to once I knew that it was set in the, the Renaissance era. I started to really enjoy it and I actually as a gamer I'm into the Assassin's Creed games and I actually you know came across a lot of references and characters that are actually in the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood game which is very cool to you know see um see it all 
the late and stuff because those games are very historical this is a historical book so just the fact that it all connects you know these are based on real characters that was really really cool to see in that sense um there's been a lot of mixed reaction about this book um a lot of people who are fans of mario puzo's work don't actually enjoy it um it, there's it's a mixed reaction if you go on goodreads you'll see there's some people love it some people hate it um, I side with love it basically so yeah um, I definitely recommend this to you know either people who have an interest in the renaissance era or people who are fans of Mario Puzo himself and want to read something a bit different from him I definitely recommend it but if you're not really into historical kind of stories and stuff like that then you may not like it but I really enjoyed it so yeah that's my quick review of uh, the family um, Hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if there's any other books you would like me to review. Peace.